Our real estate strategy is very simple. We couple our development capability, our financing capability, and then with the land, first we are able to get better returns for our land uh, owner, for our investor, and for ourselves. In the process, we also create job and grow the economy. A real estate joint venture is a partnership between a landowner and a developer. It involves combining the real estate development expertise and the financing capability of the developer with the landowner's contribution in form of land. The process of a real estate joint venture starts with project appraisal and a feasibility study to determine the best use of the land. Once this is determined, the next step is usually a project proposal which comes from the developer to the landowner. So they meet and discuss uh, what the proposal is and once they agree on this, uh, on the concept, the project is able to go forward. So the next step after the accepting of the proposal is a legal due diligence on the property which involves the developer conducting a search just to establish first the authenticity of the title, um, the ownership of the title, and then also uh, a surveyor is engaged just to establish the, the true acreage of the parcel and just make sure it's the same one that is on the title. If you look at the real estate sector, yes, there's still pockets of value. And most of the time, if you look at the people we are looking at getting to JV with, they either don't have the time or the money to do the development. So for us, what we really give them is that opportunity to monetize their, their land that they already have. The biggest question is, what is it that they are looking at? If you're looking for returns that um, or cash flows immediately, they allow us to sell the project, uh, the houses, and then they get the money out. But some of them would like this to be for the long term. For example, the Alma client, they actually converted most of their returns into units, into the development. But the biggest thing is, what is it that you're looking for in terms of personal financial planning? That's where we really come in. What are you looking for as a JV partner? The Mutua family are the owners of the Earth River property, which is a thousand acres. Initially we had tried one or two other options but we were not confident in them because we said it's the best thing to do to develop the property to unlock the full value of it. We were very fortunate uh, two and a half years ago, uh, went to a presentation uh, and uh, we met uh, Saiten and we were really amazed that uh, we could not have found any company that was better. One thing that has made Saiten very successful which really attracted us to them was a the governance structure accountability, no shortcuts. Everybody's involved from the CEO, the team, project manager, to the sales and marketing team. They keep us updated, very professional. We have board meetings every three months. They've put me on the advisory committee as well because part of the project, because of my experience as the hotelier, we want to create also a hospitality area where we'll have hotels, we'll have uh, maybe old people's home, uh, we'll have conferencing, apart from that, to supplement uh, the city, to make it a non-inclusive city that has never been seen before. We are the landowners where the Alma project is being constructed. Me and my wife had actually decided to develop our land and we had met several developers before we met Saiton. After we met Saiton, we sat down and decided Saiton appears to be the best developer that we can partner with. We had to involve lawyers and we sat down to agree and uh, eventually we came to agreement. So after the project has started, we have realized that there's more benefits than we thought. We have been exposed to networks which have made our business easier. We are happy to be involved with a development that will create modern, beautiful homes for other families. Our partnership with Saiton has been a good and I wouldn't hesitate to involve them in another of my development because I have other lands. Any sensible construction project undergoes uh, four main stages. The first stage is usually what we call the inception stage. This is whereby we back the product so we are trying to structure the product to make sure that it, uh, it gives us a return this is where we usually meet our jba partners and work hand in hand with our research and deal origination team and our investments teams to structure a, pro a product that will deliver returns to all the investors the second stage is usually what you call planning um, here is where we lay, we, we lay all the foundations to make sure that the project succeeds in terms of uh, processes and it's a stage that usually uh, on board our project consultants 
uh, ranging from the architect, the QAs, the mechanical, electrical engineers, and structural engineers. Now, from planning, we usually go to what we call the execution and monitoring stage. Uh, this is whereby the actual construction stage uh, takes place. During this stage, the first uh, step is usually onboarding a very capable uh, main contractor to make sure that you get somebody who's capable to execute our project. We also run a very competitive uh, process to make sure that we get somebody who is technically qualified and also gives us uh, the best financial bid. And now during this stage of construction, we make sure we usually have what we call the quarterly board meetings, whereby we keep every member informed about the construction process. We usually do what we call the monthly reports and share the same with our JBA partners. Uh, once the construction is uh, uh, complete, we, move, we usually move on to the final stage that is usually closing out and uh, making sure that we deliver the project as envisioned and that there are no issues uh, with the project and everybody is happy in the project. The legal involvement is basically three parts. You have the pre-contract stage, which is before you actually get into the JVA. You then have the contract stage where you actually have a JVA in place. Things are running, you're implementing the JVA goals and aspirations. And then three, you then have the exit stage where you have realized your investment objective as a landowner. Saiton has also realized investment objective and you now need to go your separate ways. Land is a pretty contentious issue in Kenya, so I think for us it's a key issue to ensure that the land you're getting is free from any controversy or any encumbrances. The main benefit of a real estate joint venture. First is the increased capital base. Uh, for the landowner, they are able to access financing for development, whereas the developer is able to access development land. Then the other benefit is the access to distribution and marketing channels. Um, for a real estate development, you want the product to reach the right market. The other benefit of a real estate joint venture is the sharing of returns and also the risks of a real estate development. So once the development is complete, both parties gain access to the returns from the real estate project. Then also uh, through the development project, both parties bear the risks that can be faced in a real estate development. This is a perfect marriage between Saiten and the Mutua family. It's very good to put everything on paper. A city that is unbelievable, never been seen in Africa before. It's equal to even better than most of the cities I've ever seen. To execute, nobody is better, well placed than Saiton. And we made the right choice. With Saiton, we have found trustworthy and reliable partners. And we are so happy, so happy indeed. Locally, we've partnered in joint ventures in areas like Karen, Kiambu area, areas like Ruaka and Rueru. This is one of the projects uh, under joint venture partnership. We are keen to partner in uh, Ridgeways, areas like uh, Lower Kabete and uh, areas like Mountain View. Uh, on a regional front, we are keen to partner uh, with a landowner in Uganda and later in uh, Ghana.